Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to see the part two of the double angle identities. So first here we have to see x plus as a single trigonometric ratio. So it is two sine five x cos five x. So this is actually theta. Both of the must same. So we have the formula for that sine two theta and theta is what five x. So now what will you do? You will multiply this into this. That is going to be sine of ten x. So now we have one minus two sine square. 3x. So again, this is theta. 1 minus 2 sine square theta means that is cos 2 theta. So here, this will write as cos 2, and this is 3x. And then you are going to multiply this into this. That is going to be 6 cos 6x. Now the next one, that is 4 sine theta cos theta. So we don't have direct formula for this one. So what we are going to do for this 4, we'll write here 2 into 2. I'll tell you why. And this sine theta cos theta. Because we know now, see here, after doing uh, 2 into 2, so now just look at this one, 2 sine theta cos theta means that is sine 2 theta. And this will keep as it is. So now we, we have the formula for this one. So that is sine 2 theta. So 2 10 4x divided by 1 minus 10 square 4x. So now this is theta, 2 10 theta divided by 1 minus 10 square theta. So we have 10 square, uh, 10 2 theta. So this is theta means that is 4x. So this is going to be 8x. So that is answer is 10 8x. 2 cos square theta by 2 minus 1. So with 2 cos square theta this we have cos 2 theta. This is that. So now what will happen here? 2 and 2 is going to get cancelled. So the answer is cos theta. Now here they said express as a single trigonometric and then evaluate. This after the getting of this one you have to write the value of that one. So now here we have cos square 30 minus sine square 30 that is cos 2 30 means that is theta cos square theta minus sine square theta that is cos 2 theta so now what will you have this is theta so this 2 into 30 that is cos 60 and you know the standard trigonometric ratio that is sine cos 10 then 30 45 60 you know the values of that 1 by 2 1 by root 2 and root 3 by 2 then root 3 by 2 you have to go in the reverse order 1 by root 2 and 1 by 2 and so on this you can find. so that is cos 16 1, 1 by 2 so this is the final answer what you have to write now here cos square pi by 12 minus sine square pi by 12 so now you know cos square this is theta minus sine square theta is cos 2 theta so now cos 2 and this is theta that is pi by 12 so 2 ones are 2 six are that is pi by 6 so cos pi by 6 pi by 6 means 180 by 6 that is 30. So cos 30 is root 3 by 2. Now look at here 1 minus 2 sine square 3 pi by 8. So that is this is theta. 1 minus 2 sine square theta is cos 2 theta. So this is theta. So now what will you write here? 2 1s are 2 4s are. So now that will be cos 3 pi by 4. So now 3 pi by 4 means 3 into 180 by 4. So this is going to be 45. So now this 45 into 3 that is 135. So this is cos of 135. Now see here cos of 135. How we can split that cos of 90 plus 45. So that is going to be 90 plus 45 is 135. So cos of 45 what do you have here? That is 1 by root 2. So, but then why did I write here minus? So here I will tell you why. So now see here this is the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and the fourth quadrant. And you know the cast root. This C, A, S, T. So the C stands here means in this fourth quadrant cos is positive. A means all are positive in the first quadrant. This two, this S means uh, uh, sign is positive in the second quadrant. And this T means the 10 is positive in the third quadrant. Means that means the others all are negative. So now we have 135 means this is 90, this is 180 till here. So 130 comes in the second quadrant. So in second quadrant, what we can see? Cos of 135, right? So that will be is going to be negative. So you will see at the cos 45 value, but you have to see the quadrant because that is negative in the second quadrant. And here cos is negative because only sign is positive over here. So now that you are going to write here minus 1 by root. So 2 sine pi by 12, cos pi by 12. That is going to be sine 2. 5 by 12. So now what will you write here? This 5 by 12 means 2 1s are, 2 6s are. So that is sine 
5 by 6. So that will be 180 by 6. That is going to be 30 and sine 30 is 1 by 2. So now you have what happened to you? You have to find the value of sine 2 theta. Then cos 2 theta and 10 to theta. And given is cos theta is 3 by 5. And it like 0 is less than or equal to theta is less than or equal to pi by 2. Means it lies between this one. So now look at here. 0 and pi by 2. Pi by 2 means what is that? That will be 90 degree. Means it will be in the first quadrant. Okay. So now here we will draw a rough triangle over here. So this is uh, theta and this is 90 degree. And when it is 90 degree means this is going to be the hypotenuse. Since this is theta means this is going to be the opposite side right? and this is going to be the adjacent side. Now it is cos 3 by 5. Now you know cos is what? Cos is adjacent by hypotenuse. Okay. So since it is uh, adjacent by hypotenuse, that means where is the adjacent side is here. So here you are going to write 3 because it is given 3 by 5. And where is the hypotenuse is here. So here you are going to write 5. This is very important. Cos is adjacent by hypotenuse. So first thing you have to see where is opposite, where is adjacent and where is hypotenuse. And then you are going to put the value which is given over here. So hope this is clear. If this is clear, other things are very easy. So now you have to find out this side. So let us name this as y. So now what do we know? You don't you know the Pythagoras theorem. That is, this is the base square plus the perpendicular. We can see the height square is the hypotenuse square. Base square plus the perpendicular. This one is equal to the hypotenuse square. So now you know the base is 3 square. The perpendicular is y square. And the hypotenuse is 5 square. So we will find the uh, value of this y first. So y square is 5 square. And if this goes on the other side, that is going to be minus 3 square. So y square is 25 minus 9. So y square is 16. So y is going to be the, uh, squaring both sides. What will you get? Root of 16, that is 4. So now you got this as 4. So now you have this one. What is given here? We want to find out sine 2 theta. So to sine 2 theta, the formula is 2 sine theta cos theta. So what are you going to do? You will write 2 as it is for sine theta means uh, you know that is you are going to write here. Uh, what is that sine theta? Now opposite by hypotenuse. So which is the opposite one? This 4 is the opposite of this one and this is the hypotenuse. So you are going to write this as 4 by 5. And for this one cos theta means that is the adjacent by hypotenuse which is already given that is 3 by 5. So now when you do this, what you are going to do? You are going to multiply 4 to the 8, 8 to the 24. And this also you are going to multiply. This is not the LCM because this is a multiplication. When you are adding or subtracting, if the denominator is the same, you will write only once. But here this is multiplication. So you are going to write here. So this is a mistake. Sorry for that. I forgot to write that. That should be here 25. Okay. So 5, 5 is 25. Because this is all multiplication. So now here cos 2 theta is, now here we have the formula that is cos square theta minus sin square theta. So now what will you do here? Uh, you know that cos means that is 3 by 5. It is, you can just scroll up and see. Uh, that is, you will take the square of that. And sin means it is 4 by 5 because opposite by hypotenuse that is 4 by 5. So now what you are going to do, you are going to multiply this as well as this. So what is that going to be? 9 by 25. Hope you got this one. Here also what you are going to multiply this as well as this. This is going to be 16 by 25. So now what will you do? 9 minus 16 because here you can take the denominator same and you can write it only once because it is minus over here. Either plus or minus you can take, take the denominator only once. So minus 16 plus 9 that, that is going to be minus 7. That is minus 7 by 25. Now we have to find out the 10 to theta which is given in the equation. 10 is nothing but sine by cos. And this is theta, here is 2 theta. So you are going to write here. Now you know the value of 10 to theta. What is that? 10 to theta is 24 by 25. And cos theta also, you got the value as this is cos theta, right? The value is minus 7 by 25. You have to divide it because this one. So now what will you do? This is the numerator, this is the denominator. Numerator right as it is. This is going to get flip over so that 25 will go in the numerator and 7 will go in the denominator. So here, this 25 and 25 gets get what remains is 24 divided by minus 24 divided by 7. So 10 to theta is minus 24 by 7. So we got all the three values what they were asked for. 
Now the next one, find the values of sine 2 theta, cos 2 theta, and tan 2 theta. And here it's given. Sine theta is minus 12 by 13. And where it, what is this given? 3 pi by 2 is less than or equal to theta is less than 2 pi. So 2 pi means 2 into 180, that is going to be 360. So that is going to be where this is first, second, third, and the fourth quadrant is 360 means it is going to 3 pi by 2 means 3 into 80 by 2. That is going to be 270 from 270 to 360 means that is the fourth quadrant. Hope this is this should be very clear. So now we have sine theta. Now let us draw the rough here the triangle. So you know sine is what opposite of of course. Let us see. Uh, this is the of course, this is 90 degree means this is going to be the hypotenuse. This is the theta means this is going to be the opposite side. And this is the adjacent side. So, sine theta means sine theta is opposite by hypotenuse. So, which is the opposite side is minus. This is the opposite side. So, here you will get minus 12. And here you will get hypotenuse. So, this should be clear where to write these numbers. So, with this one, I, I think this is clear to you. So, now what are we going to do? Let us consider this as x. This is the unknown. So, we can write it. Now, we are going to use the Pythagoras theorem. That is what? Now, uh, this is the hypotenuse. This is going to be the base. So, what is that? Base square plus the perpendicular side is the hypotenuse square. So, base is what? x square. Perpendicular side means this one. That is minus 12 square. And the hypotenuse is 13 square. So x square and minus 12 means because this is an even number. So minus 12 into minus 12 is going to be plus, uh, this plus, minus 12. And then you are going to write here, 1, 12, 12 is a 144. That is 13, 13 is a 169. So x square is 169. This plus 44, 144 becomes minus 144. So x square is 25. So x is going to be 5. So the value of x you got as 5. Now what we have want here that is they have asked for the sine 2 theta. In sine 2 theta the formula is 2 sine theta cos theta. And what is that sine theta? We know that it's already given over here that is minus 12 by 13. And here cos theta. Now let us see cos theta. Cos theta is the adjacent by hypotenuse. So now this is the adjacent, uh, this is the, uh, sorry, this is the opposite side. And the adjacent side is here by hypotenuse. So we already got adjacent as what? That is x as 5. So we can write here 5 by 13. Hope that is clear to you. So now what are we going to do? We are going to multiply this one on. So that will be 24 into 5. That is 120 because this is negative. We are going to write here negative 120. Again, what I said, this should be multiplied. So 13 into 13, that is 169. Now cos 2 theta. We have the formula for cos 2 theta. This formula should be learned by hand. There is no option. If you don't know the formulas, you cannot do it further. So cos 2 theta is cos square theta min, uh, minus sin square theta. Now you know the form, this one, what is cos theta is 5 by 13. So here, what are you going to write here? 5 by 13 square minus minus uh, sin theta is minus 12 by 13. That is minus 12 by 13 square. So here it is going to be 25 by 169. See, so both should be multiplied. Here again the same because this is minus here also. 12, 12 is a 144 by 169. Again, here, see here, minus 12 into minus 12, and this is even number. So, of course, that is going to be positive. So, you 144. So, now, what, what will you write? The denominator is the same, but here this minus means you are going to write it only once. 25 minus 144 minus 144 is the bigger number. Let us write at the top, plus 25, which is going to be 119, but the negative number, bigger number sign. So, that is, yeah. Now, 10 theta is what? Sign by cos. So because this is theta is 2. So we are going to write 2 theta. And now you know sine 2 theta is already given. That is what? We got the value as minus 120 by 169. And cos theta we got the value as minus 119 by 119 by 169. Numerator, this is the denominator. So numerator, whenever we write this numerator here. So now uh, look at this. I can put one step over here. That is because I wrote the direct answer over here. So now 120 by 169, and this should be flipped over, right? So this is going to be 169 divided by minus 119. So what should be done? This and this should be cancelled. And so what remains is minus 120 by 120, and this remains, right? So here, 
So, so why did I write one more step to make you understand better? So minus and minus becomes plus. So this is the final answer. So this is clear. This is clear. the more numbers of steps, the less the mistakes. So definitely means whatever you will see in my videos that there are more steps. Later on, when you are confident, you can minimize the steps. But always go for the more steps to avoid the mistakes. So this is one extra step. Okay. So hope you got with this one. To so find the value of a in the equation 2 10 x minus 10 to x plus 2a is equal to 1 minus 10 to x 10 square x. So here now what are you going to do? You will write this first equation. This whole equation I have written from here to here the same over here. So now what will I do? I will separate this one. This I will write on one side and this total I am going to take it on the right hand side. So what will happen here? See if I am taking this on the right hand side this is minus 2. Uh, 10 to x so 10 to x became positive this is uh, see um, this i'll write it later first see i wrote it over here my plus is going to be minus over here but now what will i do here here now this is already the same on the right hand side only so everything i'm going to write the same over here see here first thing just i wrote this part this is the same over here because it is already on the right hand side and this also is the same plus one i wrote it over here hope you got this see again i'll repeat it this the same this is going to be on the right hand side so this is going to be positive this is going to be this is already on the right hand side so it is the same plus 2a is going to you're going to go on the right hand side so it's going to be minus 2a and this plus one is already here so i wrote it over here so why did i write this together here itself i could have done that also plus one because to avoid that confusion i write it like this i'll tell you why because now see here this all is the same so uh, when we uh, sorry not uh, this is the same from this one what we can see that 10 to x this is one term and this is the other term because we can see the minus in between this one so what we can see 10 to x this is in this as well as this one so this is taken outside the bracket so what remains here it will be one this is minus and now what you can see 10 square 10 square x so now see here when you expand this it is going to be the same as this part. okay you can just say 10 to x minus 10 10 to x 10 square x and this will be as it is so now what will you do we will divide the lhs and rhs by 1 minus 10 square x so because why we we don't have anything like we cannot solve by these things so uh, when we are dividing it by my one minus 10 square x so now i'll tell you what will happen here so now see here uh, this is divided by this left hand side is divided by one minus 10 square x and again the right hand side also should be divided by one minus 10 square x so now the whole part is divided by one minus 10 square x so now we have the formula for this one 2 10 x divided by 1 minus 10 square x which is 10 to x so hope you got this why i divided by 1 minus 10 square x so now what will we do for the this is done for the left hand side now so let us look at the right hand side so now right hand side we have this one term and this is the other one because the minus is over here so what will we do we will take this and this together hope you got this one first so in this and this what happens this and this gets cut so what remains is 10 to x okay and now what will you do you will take along with this sign you will take this one this so what will happen here here nothing gets cut so we will write here as it is over here hope you got this first you will take this and this one and then this and this one so for the first part this gets cut and the second part is as it is the same thing is over here so now what will we do here we will keep uh, 10 to x as it is and this 10 to x we will take it on the left hand side so that it's going to be minus 10 to x and this as it is on the right hand side along with the side okay so now what we can see 10 to x this is plus actually over here and minus this will get cancelled so it will be zero and this will remain okay so here we will write zero and you will write as it is over here so now when we multiply this into this so 1 minus 10 square if, if it goes here that 0 into anything is going to be 0 right so what remains is just this part hope this is clear to you so now we will take this one minus 2a if we take it on this side that is going to be plus 2a 
and this one is already on its place. So the value of a is 1. This is actually multiplication, so this is going to get divided. So a is 1 by 2. So hope you understood this one. So by this one, we have completed two days more. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts. Thank you.